check, 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 check. Sounds Everybody, not working. John Dahar again. Glad to see you. Hope everybody's having a great day. If you're not, go have one. Above dirt, that's all we can ask for. Beautiful sky behind me. Today we're going to quickly run over grass and weed killer. Now this is killer. This is going to kill the grass and weeds and it's going to keep it away for quite a while. Okay, this isn't something where you're going to just spray on it in two weeks. You're going to be able to seed it. This is total killer. Okay, so we're just going to run through it real quick, show you how to use it, show you what I like. So real quick, high yield, super concentrate, kills all weed and grass killer. Okay, I love this stuff right here. Okay, love it, love it, love it. So you need this, you need a pump up sprayer, and you can buy these at Home Depot, Lowe's, Garden Centers, anything else, but they have little ounce lines on here, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna keep this all together. You wanna keep this cup, this sprayer, and this all together. You don't use it for anything else. Now, I always write on here, it says two and a half ounces per gallon. So that's where this comes in, okay? But always put on here total kill, put what it is, Label everything you're doing so you never use the wrong thing. And then on your pump up sprayer, put all kill, total kill, only use for killer, whatever you're gonna do, but make sure you label every single thing. Every single thing has to be labeled, okay? So, like I said, it's rain proof in about two hours, but it's perfect if you have 24 hours. You're not gonna spray this real heavy. You're gonna spray it on their light. Uh, this isn't like stuff you buy at Walmart or Home Depot. Um, it's not gonna brown out the weed in a day. It's gonna take seven to 12 days because it works differently, but it works better. That's why I really, really like it. It's a little more expensive, but it works really well. So we're just gonna make sure the cap's on. Always shake everything up really good. Okay. Now, like I said, I have mine, I have mine kind of labeled and marked, so I kind of know where I'm going. So we're just gonna carefully pour in what we need. So that's about two ounces. So we need just a little bit more. Okay, so that's about my two and a half ounce mark. Okay, so we're gonna take our pump up sprayer. You're gonna put a gallon of water in it. So it's two and a half ounces to one gallon of water. So you're gonna take this over to your spigot on the side of your house or wherever. You're gonna put a gallon of water in this pump up sprayer first. You're gonna fill this and then just make sure and be, be careful. You know, keep it off you, keep it off your clothes, all that stuff. Make sure it gets in there good. And you're just going to put that back in your pump up sprayer real nice and easy. Like I said, do all this real nice and easy. And then you're going to twist it up, make sure it's tight. Then you're just going to take your pump up sprayer. Just make sure you shake it up really good. Shake it up really good. And then as you're spraying, you know, if you've been spraying for five, six minutes, go ahead and shake it up again. So you're getting a nice, even, consistent mix when you're doing this okay and then all you're gonna do is pump up your sprayer you know it's gonna start tightening up on you so you lock it and then we have our wand Let's see if I get the whole wand in there we have our wand like I said you just hit it light move on hit it light move on seven to 12 days if it's still green it's not browning out which it should be but if it's a really really hard weed or grass hit it again it'll go away and always wear safety okay safety safety i really should have my safety glasses on there on my hat so that's not doing me any good but anyway that's what we got hope everybody has a great day wonderful day above dirt till next time thanks